Have you ever wondered why you and the toppers solve the same PYQs, yet there is such a big difference between their marks and yours? Let me explain simple things. Point one, toppers just don't solve the PYQs. They analyze them. They check which topics have the questions repeating again and again. For example, in 2024 and 2025, chapters like modern physics, coordination compounds, vectors and 3D were repeated so many times, almost every shift had it. And by noticing this, they understand the exam trend. Second thing, they observe what kind of mistakes they are making while solving the questions. Are they missing the units? Are they facing sign convention issues? or the concepts are getting messed up or some mistakes in the rough sheet. They identify their error patterns and they make sure they don't repeat the same mistake again. Number three, if four to five PYQs from a particular chapter go wrong, they revise that particular concept or that chapter again. But what does an average student do? One question goes wrong, another question goes wrong and they immediately move on to the next topic by losing the confidence or just neglecting it. A PYQ is not just a previous year question. It's the blueprint of the exam. An average student solves it and forgets about it, but a topper solves it, analyzes it, identifies the trend, builds their rank from it. Now you decide what you want to do and tell me in the comments, do you just solve the PYQs or do you actually extract the insights and analyze just like the toppers. For more such videos, do not forget to like and subscribe to the number one J English channel.